George Hooks, Keith Green. You two are the quintessential circus musicians. You played together for 40 years. Uh, right now it's 2023. You're with the Hannaford Circus. Started on Ringling many years ago. Tell me a little bit about what makes your relationship work. We just feed off each other, really. I mean, um, I mean, the reason why he hired me because I never would stop playing. <laughs> and and I, I said, that's the one I want. Yeah, I told him when I hired him, I said, I don't care what you play as long as you never play the same thing twice. And he never has. I never have. And never that's have. the mark of a good jazz musician, yeah. right? <laughs> you're, you're always <laughs> improvising. I definitely have a jazz influence. And his technique is unbelievable. He has more technique. You know, like I've always told everybody, he'd make Buddy Rich cry. He just, he can play, I mean, play everything and make it sound so much better because he has so much technique. And this is, circus music is about the only place that you can really show that. Because, uh, you know, if we go out and play in a band, it's not not the same. We have to play follow charts, yeah. like with my, my jazz thing I do in New York. We're playing the charts. Yeah, it's fun. But it's, it's fun. not as much fun because here we get to really shine. So for many years, and, and you know, Keith, I know you, you were the musical director for all of Fell. But for many years on the Red Unit, you worked together. Gunther Gable Williams, obviously the star of the show for many of those years. Tell me a little bit about the music you would play for his act and how you made that decision. He told us some of the music, things he liked. He liked all the TV things that were popular. Or movie. Rocky. Rocky movies, yeah. Magnum P.I. Stuff like that. Uh, we played Sir Duke by Stevie Wonderful. So when you make a decision to come up with a score nowadays, do the, do the acts ask you to play things typically or you just kind of know what to play we just threw a bunch of he'd yeah. go buy music in new york he'd buy a bunch yeah, of I'd go, go buy things and we would rearrange them yeah we because would. it would be simpler because i would use the, the primarily primarily the right chords that they had and just rearrange and make screaming trumpet parts and and a lot of these charts were marching band charts, but we totally souped them up. You know? They didn't sound like a marching band. <laughs> Not <know>? at all. <laughs> but Gunther uh, would tell us a lot of times if there was something he he liked, he would say, can you do that? So, of course, we could arrange anything. We'd do anything and, uh, for him because he was the hardest worker I ever met. Oh, we, had, we had so much respect yeah. for him because... We, we could see him working 24 hours a day, and we, everybody appreciates it. Because we don't see that many people with their boys that much work into their life. A Adrian's pretty much the... Yeah, Adrian is. He's right almost in that, yeah. in that category. Adrian Poema uh, yeah. here at the Hannaford Circus in 2023. Gentlemen, uh, here's to many more years working together, and thank you for everything that you've done for us as those who've watched those circus performances. All Thank right. you. We've enjoyed everything. Thank you very much.